Okay, um, Angel, so I love this photo. Um, it's really cool. Um, the first thing I would do for this photo is I would get the clone tool, which is pretty easy to work with. Um, again, the brackets um, enlarge the brush. You can see it moving up and down up here. Um, but you can enlarge it or shrink it. I'd keep it about here. And what I'm going to do is get rid of the scragglies by holding down Option, click, moving down, Option, click, because I'm just cloning another part. Option, click of the fence. Of course, I have the opacity at 63 up here, just so that it's not too harsh. Option, option, click. And if you want to move, change that to 100%, you can always do that. Like down here, you might want to option, click, move down, and then click again. Option, click, click again. Option, click, move down, click again. And then over here, option, click, move down, click again. Of course, you don't want to make it look, I like to get rid of the areas that might, you know, repeat another area too much. Option, click, move down, click again. Option, click, down, click again. Option, click. And then you can just option click, same sort of thing around here, but you want to, you might want to zoom into certain areas. Option click, click again, move down. Option click. Option click down click again get rid of it and then go well, up here option click that might work option click click option click click and go up just kind of getting rid of the residual areas Okay. Okay. Um, there's some here yet. Option click. Click here. Option click. I can kind of get rid of that whole thing if I needed to. Shrink my brush with the bracket. Zoom in. Option click. Option click. Click again, option click, click again. Okay, so that looks to be pretty decent. Option click, let's see a little something there, change, okay. Okay, so the next thing I would do, I know you said his face, face was blotchy and that's kind of difficult to fix. Um, it's just blemishes and stuff you can always change by Zooming in and out, changing your brush again, option click. There's another thing called content aware that's pretty fancy and it works well. Um, I prefer to use this just because I'm used to it and I have more control. Um, again, you kind of want a bigger feather, a decent feather so that it doesn't look like you're actually retouching because I could do that and you could really see around the edges. So really, um, I want to think about lighting and everything. That's a lot of times like where's the lighting hitting on his nose. Um, you know, so what's going to be the, the closest area? That would not be it. So I might want to really zoom in here and then look at the lighting option click. And that way I have more of a feather and it gets rid of it. Option click, click again, and get rid of that. And you know, again, the lighting was a little weird, so I'm just fixing it as I go along. 
and then I zoom in again. Kind of want to get this color here. Option click. Not sure that's going to work real well, so maybe more like this color. Just to kind of soften that up a little bit. There we go. And then around here too, you can do the same thing, getting rid of the blotches. I did it already in another photo. This is just in another, um, in the actual photo. So you'll get that when I send it to you. But um, another thing I did, because I think the photo is really great and you were talking about the lighting, is I warmed it up quite a bit. So I went into image, adjust, um, color balance, and I felt like it could use a lot more red could really look fancy the highlights a lot more red I just think it really warms it up nicely and then say okay you can always go into image adjust levels as well and kind of it looks like it's pretty decent level wise I don't want to you know blow it out and give it too much contrast um, so I would keep it pretty steady right about there say okay and so those are some of the things that I would do to touch it up but this is an awesome photo super super cool um, I hope this helps you let me know if you have any questions and of course save it and then um, send along to you okay talk to you soon bye